Hello everybody, Bob the Mob, aka Doc Wildcard, and a few nights ago, I was at a beer from beer, and I won all kinds of stuff, and I just thought that some of it might be ASMR for some of you, and so here we go. Basket was a movie night basket. Movie and TV shows. Crinkly wrapping Inside the complete first and second seasons of Roswell, which I've actually never seen. I just into sci-fi. It sounded interesting. Apparently, a show in which um, there are teenagers who just discover that they are, in fact, from outer space. Sounds like a pretty cool series. I think I'll probably very much enjoy. Complete first and second seasons alias. That show I also never seen but always wanted to.
one. Let's see. Yeah, there's things that sort of opens like a book. So in that basket, the complete first season of the Mentalist. Cool, that seems a good type thing, apparently. Nice. Interesting thing about Tootsie Rolls, they were first invented during World War II as uh, part of the soldiers' uh, racing packages because they were giving uh, chocolate bars in the packages, but those would melt. And so they invented Tootsie Rolls instead so that they wouldn't melt and that also is uh, how M&M's came about. That's where the old slogan they used to have about the milk chocolate melts in your mouth not in your hand comes from is because the candy shell would keep it from melting. version of what the one William had in her candy shop roleplay video. 
uh, called their Maltesers. The Shrek Trilogy. If you're wondering what this is, you might have seen it in my Saw roleplay video. This is primarily used for yeah, roasting marshmallows. It's extendable. But it obviously can be used for other purposes as well. That was just the movie and TV pack. <laughs> I also had one. Because there were a few things that were uh, being raffled for. I had also won this. Wolverine Origins. This is what was it? A collection of many Wolverine stories, and this is this was valued. Approximately seventy six bucks. Black Dance just then I had a picture, I'm not sure if it had it there.
big very thick heavy book sound of pages being flipped like that. In fact, that was how I was first introduced to my first feeling of ASMR, a sort of feeling of overall warmth, as if I had just had a drink in a video from Kitty, aka Sweet Seductive ASMR. Oh, I forget what it was called at the moment. But I will find out and it will be in the description. Save the best for last. Give me a second here. Can you guess what it is from this wrapping paper? You probably have an idea, but you probably are not very close to truly aware of just how big this is. Fills Also has a picture of Citizens Bank Park where they play. One. Even three, but four stacks, various kinds of sports and sports entertainment cards. This even getting back to WCW 
So that's a really old collector's item thing by this point. In fact, all of these are WCW. Give me a second, I want to see if there's any big time stars in here. Hmm. Jim Ross without his glasses or his cowboy hat. Interesting. Sting was always my favorite when I was growing up and watching WCW. Few cards of him. I thought he was especially cool when he, uh, he used to have like the sort of um, Gene Simmons kind of look painted on his face and the long black hair and he would come sprint down to the ring, lights would flicker in and out like lightning and they just start clobbering people with his baseball bat and then just disappear. I always thought that was the coolest thing growing up. Lex Luger. Not the big timer. Also, was a big timer in what was at the time the WWF. I think he might even be a Hall of Famer. If not, I imagine he will be soon. Sid Vicious, also called Psycho Sid, and Sid Justice. When he was in what was then the WWF and had been a champion. Woo! Sorry, I couldn't resist. Ric Flair. The ultimate, as I said, in terms of sports entertainment. And all to be all. I really love to have it. Arn Anderson, he was awesome back in the day, too. A uh, close friend of Ric Flair's. They were together part of the Four Horsemen. It's a really cool team back in the day. Where's that old Ian Anderson? Maybe it was both.
Sixers fan, as anyone will tell you who knows me, I veritably define the term rabid fan. Fan spelled in this case P H A N. I am. Uh, I'm very calm and docile here. But I'm telling you, at games of any kind, and at, uh, at sports entertainment events like wrestling, for instance, but them too, I am known for like just yelling at the top of my lungs and uh, having a sore throat for several days afterwards. And I love it. I could not be more proud of it. And I have two boxes here of all kinds of cards. Old school one, it seems. Oh, no way. Sweet. Pete Rose. Pete Rose, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless of whether he had gambled or not, he had been an excellent excellent player especially when he was playing on my fighting Phil's team and so to have a card of him is a tremendous honor for me as a Philadelphian For the record as a travesty that his name is not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. These are old school. Give me a second here. These are indeed old school. And then I have an even bigger box here. This does not have a year listed on it. These two seem to be very old school. If it ain't from my fighting fills, an all-star in the American League by the name of Frank Viola, all-star pitcher Frank Viola, allowed five hits in two and oh shut out at Fenway Park, May first, nineteen eighty-eight. Blanked. 
Go Sox for second time in six days on seven hitter. Five, six, eighty-eight. But there's at least one National League. Something big. For non Philly. <laughs> hey, I can't help it. I'm a loyal Philly homeboy. He's a fighting Phil. Tommy Barrett. That was before my time, but just the fact spelled P H A C T that he was a fighting Phil is enough for P H O R me. his autograph right there <clears throat> and now just for fun I'm going to show you some of my other autographs There's, there's Mel, Mel Brooks, early day picture I sent away for his autograph. E. Laurie, who I also sent away for. Brett the Hitman Hart, Stephen King, wrestler King Kong Bundy. Can't see him that well, but in that uh, Polaroid. I met him at an event at the shore. Stu Staley. Cody DePablo from NCIS. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Shawn Michaels. Carrie Fisher. Ric Flair. Rowdy Roddy Piper and that's uh, Roger Moore up there in the 
tuxedo with the gun is James Bond, and that's the uh, Degeneration X back in, I think, 98. My apologies for the awkward angle of that. It's difficult to record with this kind of webcam. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed my presentation. I hope it's uh, given you tingles and or relaxation. And uh, please give me some feedback. Tell me... Um, what sounds, if any, had the most effect on you? Catch you later.